Hey, what's up everybody? Gratuitous here in this FL Studio tutorial. I'm going to be talking to you about hybridize. This is a really cool feature. I think this is only for FL Studio plugins, but it allows you to blend two presets together. So that's what we will be covering in this tutorial. So again, I am using the M Audio Oxygen Pro and I'll be using these two drum pads to switch between presets. If you'd like to learn more about that, go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash Oxygen Pro. Okay. All right, so first of all, what is hybridize? We are on the image line uh, manual here for FL Studio. So hybridize blends between the previous and next selected preset. So if you enable hybridize and you switch to the next preset, it blends the two presets together to create really, really cool presets. All right, so I'm gonna be using Harmer for this example again. When you guys watch my tutorials or my live streams, you guys know I do use a lot of stock FL Studio plugins for my virtual instruments. For the mixing plugins, I really do like the Fab Filter plugins, but when it comes to these virtual instruments, you will see me use a lot of stock plugins, okay? So be careful what you're listening to out there. These are high quality tools, okay? All right, so how this works is I believe, again, it has to be a stock FL Studio plugin. You click right here and you can see hybridize. Now, if tree display is disabled, you're gonna get a huge window of all your different presets. So I'm gonna select tree display and you're gonna see it's just gonna give you a bit of a cleaner drop down menu. And in this case, I'm not gonna enable hybridize yet. I'm I want you to hear two different presets. So here is this preset. We'll go to the next preset. All right, so this is a piano and the other one was this kind of more synth kind of sound. Hybridize will allow us to blend these two presets together, okay? So I'm gonna select right here, we're gonna enable hybridize and you're gonna see when I go to the next preset, it's gonna say hybridize beside it and now it's blended the two sounds. Okay, before this was like a piano sound. Now if I go to the next preset, again I believe this this just blends the previous and the next preset. So if you were to go back, it blends that one. If you go forward, I believe it just kind of blends those together. And that's it. One little pro tip I'll pass on with you guys. Um, sometimes when it comes to your low end, when it comes to music production, many times we are not playing with both the uh, left hand. So in other words, we're just playing one note on the left hand for that bass. And then the right hand is our chords. All right, whereas if I were to play uh, more than one note on the left hand, in other words, a chord, it's gonna be very muddy for our mix. You can hear like the clashing. Whereas in the high end, it sounds very pleasing, right? So as you just heard there, right? Okay, so uh, there you guys go. So that is hybridized. All you have to do is just enable it. And then when you switch between a plugin before and after, it kind of blends them together. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can visit me over at itsgratuitous.com. I hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you in the next FL Studio tutorial. If you're wanting to learn FL Studio, check out the three exclusive videos I have for you. You can get them by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash FL Studio. I hope to see you inside.